Hey everybody and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame quick tip. Now, this one's going to be on a new feature uh, exclusive to 2018 which is the Substance Materialize PBR. Now, I don't know if many of you have played with Substance Materialize from previous versions but um, just like the Substance Textures, um, they can be used to get you some cool textures um, quick and uh, the best bit with the PBR ones is again um, just exactly what PBR is meant for which is um, you know the ability to, to achieve uh, pretty photorealistic results fairly quick and fairly consistent so here I've got a photo um, you know it's o over um, over HD it's about three and a half K uh, it's just of some ground at my place um, I've tried to kind of capture it as you know minimal light as possible no obvious light source although there are bits um, and there is a little bit of uh, shadow, but we'll just call that occlusion so we can get away with it. But, you know, this is kind of a prime candidate for um, for this technique to extract. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Substance Materialized PBR, but then also have a look at um, and remind you all that we can use projections too with, with them too. So let's, let's dive right in. The other thing I've got too is um, just a, a really low-res kind of uh, lat-long map. Um, it's not a proper one but you know just around here or really just down here is where um, that photo is taken so that's going to help us with the um the substance materialized so let's just put this guy in create a batch effects and i'm just going to quickly turn off filtering and we're good to go so first thing i'm just going to grab this uh little panorama and the first thing is let's just pull out an action and we'll drop it in just so it keeps the same settings I'm going to pull out a color management node and just make this 16 float. I could do 32 now, which is cool, but I'll just leave it at 16. And I'm going to do that so it takes on the settings. So again, a lot of you may know um, if we add an input, um, you know, what's always existed with substance, if we go in here and then just press S and we'll put the original substance materialize. If we press F4, and just change these to a higher res. I'm going to do 4K for each. Um, you see, if we just chuck in a light, uh, just press L, um, you see we have, um, you know, not the, not the worst thing in the world for relighting, but, you know, it does the job. Um, again, uh, you could always tweak these and get these a lot closer um, in previous versions. Um, but you know, it's just like any other lighting that you're trying to fake, I guess, that isn't uh, PBR is it's just harder to get it looking real um, or closer to real um, in this case. Um, the other thing too is, you know, this is just flat still too. So I'm going to throw these away. I'm just going to drag around them, throw them away. Again, we're just back to the base defaults. So let's start with um, Susan's PBR. So First thing I want to do, um, because we are going to use this as a camera move, I'm going to pull out a color source and this, I'll just double click on that and then press T. So now it's 16 float. Um, I'm going to add a new input, press F4, and I don't actually want shading on yet. Okay, so there we go. And if we go to camera, I'm going to reset that. So there's several ways you can rough in elements and set up projectors for cameras. This is a quick and dirty way, so I'm just going to hold down Alt and just get this to kind of match the lines perspective wise somewhere there you know I don't mind that so I'm just gonna push this back and you see it's pretty off to around here we'll line it up so again I'm just holding down alt and somewhere there is looking good so I'm just gonna move my pivot by holding down Y and I'll pull it somewhere here and then I'm just gonna pull it down just till we get to that uh, occlusion and I'm just going to unlink scale and pull out X and pull up on Y and there we go so I'm going to duplicate that I'm just going to back clip duplicate put this down let's go to 90 and we're just going to scale that up in the Y and if we do spacebar 4 and we just quickly turn on shading you can see what we've created we just created a really quick and dirty uh, projection plane so I'm going to turn off shading actually and just press F4. Okay, so what we want to do now is um, extract um, our substance materialized texture um, and project it on these guys. So the one thing we know is this camera's already set up. So I'm going to duplicate this guy 
and our default cam one is going to be our output and this guy is again going to be our projector so that's all looking good so let's quickly set it up so again we're going to control drag around those guys um, Another thing is I don't ever use these duplicate, these old legacy things. Um, I've, I leave these as selected and I've never looked back and it's been, geez, probably since smoke, uh, pre-smoke pre anniversary. But anyway, um, control drag around them and let's just press S and let's double click and pull out the substance materialized PBR. And you see what it brings out is pretty much all the maps you get from the normal substance materialize um, uh, like before but we're using the uh, the PBR maps now so you know that's cool so let's F4 and the first thing you'll notice is by default this guy um, again because we are cheating this and this is going to be a projection um, I could have applied this and gone and had this first guy and blah 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 but the easiest way for me is when I do this to not have to think too far ahead is just add it after. So I'm going to select him, apply, double click on this, put that to 4K again, and put this guy to 4K. And if we do F4, it's going to be all white. And there's a couple little reasons. Okay, so first thing, um, for all of these textures, you see this base color is mimicking its settings to all the other guys that are being used. And what we want to change on this, if we go to texture, is its default mapping. So again, um, we can extract and relight. And again, this might be useful um, just for look deving, just for creating stuff. And again, you know, it's not to replace 3D in any way. It's just useful sometimes when something's already there and you can just extract and project and use something really quick, um, even if you just get a, you know, your point across, it can be um, quite good. So I'm going to change that mapping to projection and then choose projector. And I'm just, again, making sure my camera is set up, in which it is. So if we press F4 again, nothing's happening. And that is, again, a couple little things. So the first thing, I'm just going to make these force two-sided just because we're going to use that with our normals later. And the next thing I'm going to do is just enable shading. And you see now that's worked. And that was because I turned that off, I think, unless that kind of came off when that was happening. But anyway, let's pull this down and just due to the nature of this we're just going to have to quickly scale it up so i'm scaling up the um the scale axis for the material i'm just going to pull it up i'm not too worried if this is exact because again it's kind of quick and nasty which is fine so i'm just doing f1 f4 to see the background so i know i can scale it down a little pull it up and it still could be better and let's see somewhere there let's say for this that's that's going to work and again if we do spacebar f4 you can see our little projection set up and you know it's doing its job it's looking cool and i'm just going to f4 so the cool thing about this is now um, because this is using projection again we have this built in it's extracting the camera information too because of our little setup up here but again, um, now we can relight and get this quite cool. So by default, if we chuck in just a light, um, you know, we can already do some pretty cool stuff. Um, the first thing I want to do too is um, right now, this is set to combine normals in the normal map, and I'm going to change that to replace. Um, I just like the results I'm getting with that. I don't know, there might be a technical reason why, but for me, this this is working better. So. Again, here's the relighting results we're getting just by default um, with the substance materialized PBR. And you know, it's pretty pleasing. It's actually a lot nicer too than the defaults you'll get um, like you saw before with the normal um, materialize. But this can get a lot better because again, we're trying to maintain as close to photo real as we can. So the next thing to do, um, because this is um, our fake kind of IBL map that's not perfect. Um, but again, this is in the exact same lighting environment. so. We're going to add in a new IBL input. So control N, chuck him in. And I'm just going to all drag and throw that away. And we'll do this to the output camera. And I'm just going to no bin and pull out an IBL. And you see straight away, if I just unhide those guys, you see we're pretty, we're pretty close to what looks like a fairly neutralized image that 
you know, is looking pretty real. If we select this, um, this guy, you see lighting, lighting's, lights behaving pretty naturally. Again, you know, we can pull it back or pull it up. You know, I'd like, I really like what that's doing to the light personally. Um, again, so now let's, again, the whole point to doing this is, you know, you'd want to animate. So I'm just going to undo and let's quickly, I'm just going to pull out an axis and quickly jump to the first frame and let's just, let's just push in, pull down and pull across, maybe do a little turny thing and then let's pull it across and maybe pull out and just maybe undo that and that to the other side. Something like there. So you see we've got a weird little camera move and we'll put that back to zeros and let's just pull it in and pull it down. So you see we've got a cool little press play cool little twist and it's probably way too far so let's let's just stop it here shift tab and reset key jump to the end delete that key and control shift f and just translate these guys over here and we'll press play and that's cool again um this is right now um already better than a traditional projection, right? You know, the thing with normal projections when you are doing stuff, if it's clean up, that's fine. You know, you can just paint stuff in. But this is, again, the whole point of this is to reintroduce light. So it's gonna be different from our background. And again, we're gonna reintroduce some nice, you know, extractions we can get through the Substance PBR. So what I wanna do is um, I'm gonna take advantage of a new uh, shader setting which lives in the PBR and that's in this little guy the extended and I'm gonna play with the clear coat so I put this guy up to one you can see exactly what clear coat is and essentially it's you know like I've gone and shined up my floors which is not the case if you saw from the photo so again I'm just gonna pull this uh, pull this down and try and find it you know somewhere here is looking quite cool and I'm just gonna set key keep just to make sure um, the other thing to note too to help this render out better, um, that's one to one, um, is I'm going to turn on my accumulation all. It didn't really make a difference and that's probably because yeah I don't have hardware aliasing enabled so I'm going to turn it to 32. And yeah I like what that's doing. So again you can see if we jump out and go over here, you can see we've got a pretty cool light interaction going on there and you know the floor definitely feels glossy and you know this is better than just again a regular projection and old like i've said before you know substance textures themselves especially the pbr ones now are great but the fact that we can extract um you know camera camera info that's the other thing that you know is really easy to forget is these textures um we can always apply camera mapping to them so again, um, because we've got this built, you know, it's, and it's, you know, a camera, we can just go to Matchbox and press Stingray and we'll pull out the Stingray Depth of Field. And again, uh, I'm just going to turn off my icons. And, you know, if we turn on viewing, let's pull this somewhere here and enable that. And let's just we'll pull up on the, the far max and I'm just going to zero this out. So set key keep. And let's just jump to the end and we'll do a little focus pull kind of thing. Yeah, a little rack focus. So we'll go from there to there. And let's quickly jump out and see what this looks like. So I'm just going to click on that. Let that render, it's thinking. Give it a second. All right, I'm going to turn on loop. You see, you know, it's considering this is a still and considering what you would get just using a normal projection on this. Um, again, we can add some cool details, some cool lighting effects. You know, the sky's the limit with this. Again, it um, depends on your use case, but um, I really hope this um, quick demonstration has kind of uh, reminded you that Substance PBR materialize um, or even just the normal uh normal guys uh pre-materialize and even just substance 
um, can be used in you know projections and again can get some quite cool results fairly quick and um, they look great so that's going to be it for this quick tip guys um, i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more